है गाइज व्हाट्सअप वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू बेसिकली हाउ टू सेटअप ऑफ योर फर्स्ट रिएक्ट नेटिव प्रोजेक्ट या यू हर्ड इट राइट यू हार बेसिकली गोइंग टू क्रिएट योर फर्स्ट रिएक्ट नेटिव प्रोजेक्ट विद इन द रिएक्ट नेटिव सी एल आई नॉट द एक्सपो वन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो फॉर दैट यू हैव टू पुट द लाइक रिएक्ट नेटिव सी एल आई गेट अप ओके वंस यू uh come to this repository you'll just have to scroll down a bit uh now you have to copy this command and open your terminal let's suppose you are into the window or else you might be into the linux or mac so go to the directory where you want to you know create this project so for instance let's paste this command and give the name of your application for this uh, demo i'm going to name it demo app rn okay so let's enter and this will ask you some questions uh this that's it uh, you just have to press yes yes and it will start doing its work so yeah hey guys so now it's uh, showing you do you want to install the cocoa pods so i'm pressing yes uh if you are using windows or linux it will not ask you this uh because it's uh, relative to the mac uh, environment so yeah that's it yeah uh it has completed the uh, project setup so as you can see uh it's saying that initializing git repository and some instructions and you can see run instructions for ios and run instruction for the android now what we will do we will enter the project okay and we will put the code and then dot and enter it will open up for the project in the vs code the default coding environment and yeah i'm going to explain you each and everything bit by bit so as you can see uh here there is a test folder so you can run your tests uh the unit test which you write for your application and as you can see it's running and it has passed the test cases so this part i will teach you uh up in the upcoming video so as of now let's skip this okay uh and this is the bundle folder this is the android folder specifically for you to build the android applications and this is the separately ios folder for you to build the ios applications you have to open up this x workspace in your x code right so if you are using the windows just uh, ignore this folder uh, you have to work with the android one okay and this is the vendor folder this is the es uh, lint so you can set the rules for your es lint uh, in this file and this is the git ignore file uh, all the files which you write here will not be pushed to the uh, you know github and the gitlab or any version control uh, you are using and this is the prettier uh, you can also set the rules here as well like single quotes and all the things uh, this is the watchman config this is the app.json the name of your application and the display name this is the file which you get uh, which is app.tsx so all the code which you see in the application for the first time it's coming from this file only this is the babel config all the configuration which you do with the packages that you have installed and yeah that's it this is the index.js the main file which is consuming the app itself and this is the metro config uh, package log json all the logs of your packages will be shown with the version and this is the package json which includes dependencies currently we are having react 19.0 and the react natives 0.78 yeah and this is the readme.md and this is tsconfig.json so let's go so we will run the command uh, i'm using the yarn so i'm using the yarn android for the android one hey guys as you can see it has completed the build process it has started the metro bundler if i press the r yeah uh, you will see the react native application and all the things now you can change in the app.tsx it will get reflected in your application like this you can see if i write uh hey it's your first time see it has started printing the text which are which we are writing over here without uh, manually going and refreshing the application it's using hot reload under the hood so yeah that's it 
uh, hope you enjoyed this video and write in uh, write uh, whatever you want me to create the, for the next video uh, regarding react native and the javascript so yeah that's it for this video till then be happy and bye bye